To me, I, I believe this theme is all about putting people first in transportation. Rather than getting caught up in the technology um, and, and the engineering side of transportation, which are of course very important, uh, I think sometimes we lose track of the, the, the real goal of this, of, of transportation, is mobility and access uh, for societal values. And uh, I really uh, appreciate this focus in, in, in looking at society and transportation. And I think um, it just shows that we really have to understand people, what our priorities are as a, as a society, and how we're going to get there. I was looking at the uh, very on theme, I was looking at the societal aspects of transportation, um, trying to understand the, uh, uh, the consumer side of electric mobility and how it is that consumers come to value um, uh, new technologies that, that may be more sustainable and particularly the role of social influence in that in terms of how people uh, work with their friends and family and their, their near surroundings of people to integrate sustainable practices into their own lifestyles. I think the, the number one most important uh, aspect of my findings I, I believe is that um, really we, we found evidence that values can change, that individuals can really change their, their value system, their priorities in important ways um, in a relatively short amount of time, given the right social conditions. And so this goes against some of the more conventional perspectives that individuals are, you know, these rational beings, uh, really just influenced by price and by information and, uh, you know, I, uh, socially isolated in their decision making. But really, you know, of course, you are part of a family, you are part of a network of friends and so on. And, um, and you consult these friends and family when you are looking at how you're going to live your life. And what I found is that, you know, if a given individual is, is open to environmental lifestyle, to sustainable mobility practices, they, uh, they can actually switch towards, like shift towards that priority if they find support within their, their network. And that, that's really the most important thing. I was emphasizing that uh, the conventional policy really just emphasizes two levers to change behavior. One is to change the price of the thing you are trying to get people to buy. So if you make hybrid vehicles cheaper, people will buy them. The second lever is through information, so that the gov governments will often try to uh, diffuse or disseminate information to try and change people's behavior. But really, the, the social influence lever is really ignored uh, by policy, and I think should really be looked at more seriously, understanding how an individual interacts with their friends and family and how that can change their behavior. And so I think policy can more directly use those levers either through sending a message that this, you know, of why this vehicle is being promoted, you know, making it clear that we, we as society want to have hybrid or electric vehicles to, to reduce gasoline use and so on, um, and to put it out there to, to, to facilitate and stimulate discussion of these uh, important practices and values in society uh, that can really uh, push us as a, as, a, as a culture towards valuing these practices uh, uh, more directly. And I think that's, that's a really important finding from this.